If you'll turn your attention to the Ayrshire ring, Judge McKinnon has made his placings in the summer yearling class. Our second place junior is entry number 130, Arrows Gentle Addiction, exhibited by Mackenzie Ulmer, Tyler Boyer, and Monica Schwate from Seymour, Wisconsin. Our first place junior is entry number 122, Highview JT Lockenbar Eloise, exhibited by Sean Schultz from Sharon Springs, New York. Our third place class winner is entry 116, Ross Sue Klee Cinnamon, exhibited by Ross and Sue Kleingartner Klein from Gackle, North Dakota. Our second place class winner is also our best friend known, and that's entry 2973, Maple Dell Burdette Desiree E.T., exhibited by Maple Dell Farm from Woodbine, Maryland. And winning the class is entry 131, K&H Endress Burdette Mayhem, exhibited by Leslie and Linda Brucci from Westminster, Maryland. Congratulations. Judge, your comments. Ladies and gentlemen, again, another really nice class, but certainly a beautiful heifer to win the class. Um, she walked in, and I went up and looked at her, and I was just, man, this heifer's well put together. She's got great feet and legs, great width, great style, hard top, very angular, just a heifer's uh, complete package. Give her the advantage over the second heifer today. She's just that little deeper from the side profile. She's got a little more drop to that rear flank. She's just got that little more length even of her frame. But this second heifer is a beautiful hard top, good legged heifer that fits in really nice in second. Giving her the advantage over the August heifer we have coming out in third. She's just that little longer as well. When you get her in the line from her shoulder back to her pin, she's just got that little more length. But boy, what a beautiful balanced heifer we have in third. Heifer with very few faults. She's got a beautiful frame, depth of rib, very open in her rib, and lots of style. And she carries over the young man's heifer in fourth. Uh, she's handling better, of course, today. Uh, but to me, just a little more advantage on her re rear feet and legs today at all times. She gives that little nicer look. Um, but the fourth heifer, she is long-bodied, very angular, very stylish. She just... Got to catch a time and you can get a good look at her. And I give her the advantage over the fifth ever. She's cleaner throughout her frame. She's cleaner through her pins, through the crest of her neck. But the fifth ever is a very well-made heifer. When you get in close, she might be carrying a little condition. But she's got great feet and legs. She's got a great frame on her. And today she's fuller in her crops uh, than the heifer in sixth. She's got more, a little more stature about her for age than the heifer in sixth. But I do love the dairiness of this heifer in sixth. a very dairy heifer. Congratulations, nice class of heifers, thank you.